Okay, and welcome back to the Boogeyman. Um, hopefully I don't stuff up like I did the last video. Oh god. Um, I better open that up somewhere. Actually, ignore that. It's probably going to make a lot of noise. Um, it's just my yokai team. Oh well. WhatsApp, I should say. Um, my guild talking to each other on WhatsApp. Hopefully it won't be too pingy. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Actually, I could mute it. Uh, uh we're bothered. What you see is what you get. Not editing. Anyway, ah, let's keep going. Um, last we let off, Sophie was missing. She decided to run away. As Keith says, the little brat decides to run away. All right. It's like a garden? What? Run here? Something? Hmm. Oh, for God's sake. Choco, stop talking! <laughs> Outside in a garden. Sophie? Step back. Why did it have to be like this? On our first vacation in ages. Wonder if Helena's okay. Is something the matter? Why did you marry Mr. Keith, Helena? Why do you ask that? Lately, I felt like my heart doesn't ever beat fast anymore. I can think people are great and all, but that's it. I can't get excited about them like I used to. It's like I forgot how to love. You don't have your pink gem, that's why. Oh, this is linking to the Sandman. <laughs> yeah, you don't have your pink gem. That's why you can't feel love. Until the Sandman gives the pink gem back, you'll don't feel it. David and Shirley get along really well, so I'm jealous. And I don't want to be by myself forever. So I'd like to know why you and Mr. Keith decided to get together, Helena. And you know, love is like a jewel. It's buried deep in a person's heart, and one day, you just dig it up. Feelings like love and sympathy can create all different kinds of jewels, so jealousy, anger, and pride can shatter them too. Have you ever found such a jewel? Yeah, but I got rejected. <sighs> Don't worry, you'll find it again. I hope you can make a wonderful jewel someday. So what's your jewel like, Helena? Mine is already complete. I don't want to meddle with it anymore. I just want to keep it deep in my heart. It's so windy. <laughs> your hair's so messy, young lady. We should get back inside. Ah, uh, no! No, no, no! A 
Adelkus goes outside. Must go somewhere else in the castle. All right. Oh, is this just like a maze? Damn, it's like all loops around and round and round. Now I have to find Helena. Oh, something smells funny in here. Is something there? Hi there, sweetie. You've been a bad girl, Sophie. Why do you want to make your father cry? Perhaps you wish to see your mother again. Where's Helena? Sophie, are you mad at me? It's been so long since our last meeting. What are you talking about? Don't you remember? We've met time after time. In every bad dream you had as a child. I'll take you to the world inside the closet. But first, we need to play some more. Why don't you look after my pets? They're a bit hungry, but they're lively pups. Have fun. Take your time. Um, cute little doggies. I'm busy right now, so why don't we play later? Holy shit, I can't climb up. Oh man. No, 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 no. Sophie. Sophie, get up. Sophie. Sophie. 
This can't be real. Let's go see Richard. We can't just leave her here. my daughter. Tell me where you're going. I'll kill him. Wait, just let me. Keith, you're a detective. You've seen parents whose children were killed, haven't you? And haven't they said the same, that they want to kill the one who killed their children? Revenge is my duty as her father! David. <clears throat> Bring me a curtain and a towel. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Richard. Lance, checking on it from time to time. Why'd you tie him up? I checked, and there's no razors or scissors. But there are mirrors and windows. Make sure they don't get broken. And don't take out the gag. He might chew off his tongue. Isn't there any other way? Tell me if you've got a better idea. Piece of shit. Where are you going? Just going to stay by the guy's side. You're not going to allow that either? <clears throat> David, you stay here. I don't want you jabbing me in the back, too. I wouldn't do that. I know you didn't want to do it this way. I feel so bad for Richard. But there's not much else we can do. What can you even do? I'm coming to I have to find him like that quick. Do as you like. David! Why don't you do what I tell you to? Haven't I told you not to blame here? What if a pot or a knife fell on you? Sorry, Dad. So, why were you playing around here? Um, I was playing policeman, and, um, it's snowing today. So? This material is white and fluffy, like snow. So... Do you want to join the police, Todd? Yeah, I want to be a policeman like you, Dad. <laughs> well, well. But a policeman has to follow the rules. A boy who breaks rules can't join the force. It's the law. Well, unless you have connections, right? Connections? Who taught you a word like that? You did, Dad. What? Lame? Yeah, some of my buddies got me by connections. But they're all dumb, unpopular, and really lame to boot. You want to be a lame policeman, Todd? No, uh -uh. I'll be a cool policeman. But no relying on connections or playing pretend in the kitchen. Mom should be back from shopping soon. Let's go meet her. Okay, don't want Mom to ride to any swindlers. Then I'll protect her. Swindlers? Oh, who taught you that one? You did that. Right. Well, let's go. Are you taking the car? I've got a better idea. Ow! Oops, sorry. Jeez, what's the matter? So we had a kid. Just thinking about my son. You have a son? He's dead. I want to see if I can do something different.
I want to try it and see if I can do something different. If I can save her. Alright. See if I can save her. I wonder if there's anything in this previous Ow. room. Uh, so I just walked through. Okay. A shelves key. Okay. Why did the dogs go to dogs. sleep? Sophie, what happened in here? Th that man locked me in here. He sicked those dogs on me. Sicked them? They look asleep to me. Th no, they were just up and attacking me. Then all of a sudden they fell asleep. It was really sudden. Imagine how much you worried your father, you idiot. I just wanted to find Helena. Don't give me excuses. I told you not to leave that room. Why don't you do what? Keith? Stand up. Tell me you'll never do anything to make your father cry again. Say it. I'll never do it again. Let's go back. Sophie. Oh, thank God. Keith, David, thank you so much. Sophie, why did you leave the room? I went to look for Helena. I was just really worried. And how worried was I when you were gone? Please, don't leave without telling me again. Mr. Keith! 
I'm sorry. Thank you for coming to find me. Don't take your eye off that brat, Richard. She'll be the death of your daughter. David. Why don't you do what I tell you to? Haven't I told you not to play in here? What if a pot or a knife fell on you? Sorry, Dad. So, why were you playing around here? Um, I was playing policeman, and, um, it's snowing today. So? This material is white and fluffy, like snow. So. Do you want to join the police, Todd? Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Okay, so I've done this scene already. I suppose I've got to find the garden again. It's the chessboard. I should probably save it for doing that. I wonder what this room is for. As a kid, this wild dog chased me around for like an hour. You're such a big guy, you're really a whip. All you want to hear is a ringtone. You're more heartless than I thought, David. Is 
he behind there? Don't mind him. Let's go. Your mother's crying down in hell, you know. Can't you hear your mother's pitiful wails? Why did my dear Davy leave me alone? I don't want to be alone. Please don't leave me alone. Davy, oh Davy. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> don't listen to him. David, doesn't it hurt leaving your mother all by herself? A real thoughtful son. He'd go to be by her side right away. Or do you feel relieved? To hell with that weak woman who always clung to you. Go. I won't let him talk like that. Settle down. Don't open that door. Let go! You stupid brat! You don't listen to a word, do you? Never listens. Never learns. Plus, to put your old man through a lot of trouble. What's that? I said your father must have had it real hard with you. Jumping into danger alone, following when I tell you to stay. That's not being a brat. I don't know what is. Say that one more time. So it's not just your eyes that are busted, but your ears too? Or is it your head to blame? Getting riled up over every little thing. Think punching me will calm you down. Then go ahead. Let's go. Holy frick! Yeah. Okay. Well, at least I know um, that was pointless. Okay, so I kind of... There was a delay when it came, when it came and hit me. So I wonder... Stupid. Okay.
Hey there, David. What are you looking up at? Look down below. Ah. Ah, I finally got you snared. That detective was a bit too perceptive earlier. Killing you would put me at a big advantage. A critical hit to the detective. Oh, this is getting good. Damn it! Okay. So I don't get the bronze key. I will 
It's not letting me get out of this. Do nothing. Okay, I've got to be faster. So I need the towel. Please don't tell me it's one of those things where I've got to unlock it first in order to... Mm. No, I've got to actually look at it in order to... I want an enemy. You've got those all over the place. Ain't the guy who just shot you in the head an enemy? Everyone you've ever had to shoot was one too. They're all fakes. They're all smiling. I want an enemy. One that if I can kill them, it put an end to all these stupid incidents. Well, there is one of those in here. Aim a shot in there, and you could kill him. Of course, it'd be a victory for you, but it'd be a loss, too. So you just gotta put up with all these small-minded guys instead. We're almost at the hospital. Hope it's not too crowded. It's not you. It's not you.
It's not you. Who are you? Why are you smiling? There's got to be a way to save David. Save so here. And again, I'm going to try and save him. I'll go back to where I was last with David. This one. I noticed there was puddles on the floor. Now if it was spraying poison, maybe the puddles are also poison. So I wonder if not touching the puddles saves him. Okay, there wasn't even any discussion there. stupidity to blame. That's not the problem. If anything happens to you, I'm the one left with a crying surely. Isn't there anyone who'd cry for you? Maybe not anymore. Huh? 
still want to tag along? Yeah. <sighs> Do what you like. I'm exhausted. Don't act like you didn't know, it's just the way it goes. Keith, let's rest a little. If you don't take a break, you're going to... Shut up, this isn't the time. Okay, let me rest. Or are you going to drag around an exhausted citizen, detective? Lend me your lighter. You've got one smoke to rest. The heck is that guy anyway? How does he know about my mom? And Shirley's past. It's really disturbing. David. Did you celebrate your birthday with Shirley last month? Or was it with Paul and Marion? Oh, I scheduled a meal with Shirley, then celebrated with Paul and Marion the other... Huh. Did I ever tell you my friends' names? Sorry about your mother. Benjamin's like a landmine. One misstep means trouble. But I guess they don't teach you how to dodge landmines in flight school, huh? And you want to toughen your stomach for anchovies and liver. I mean, unless you want younger girls thinking that's cute or whatever. Hold on a second. What do you know about my mom, too? And my friends in school? I never told you any of that, right? Keep this between us. But working as a detective for 15 years, you get some nosy stuff. Like what someone's done in the past, just by looking at their faces. Maybe that big-headed freak is the same way. Kidding, right? You think I'm kidding? You're a real sucker. Take care you don't get swindled someday. What's this about? What do you know all about me? You were taken to the police after the incident with your mother. Remember the detective who questioned you? I was pretty dazed at the time, so I don't really remember. But it wasn't you, was it? Eric Simpson, my subordinate. It was only an attempted crime, so... He was the only one to handle you. And you know, he's got a real messy desk. He lets case files and they'll like pile up so high that you can topple over onto my desk. I saw some files on you among them. Your history, your family, that kind of info. And your mother's diagnosis. Oh, and the ones who verified your identity were your friends Paul and Mary and Martin. I remember them well, especially because that Paul guy made a huge ruckus at the station. It was the one that ate too many chili dogs too, right? And the anchovies. No, oh, yeah, I mentioned that at dinner. But I didn't tell you I hated liver, did I? I hate anchovies myself. And I hate liver. That's all. Why did you make a guess for that one? Because you're stupid enough that I thought it'd fool you. <laughs> if you know so much about me, why didn't you say so when we first met? Because I was suspicious of you. Huh? Me? Why? A year and a half ago, you found a hanged body in an abandoned house in another state. The state police came to us trying to determine the guy's identity. That's when I read your testimony, and it was real sketchy. Sketchy? Why? I understand you were looking for the guy who formerly lived in your apartment, but how did you track him down without even knowing his name or what he looked like? Said you followed notes, but when you were asked to show him, 
You said you lost them. You said you shot a man in the house, but there was no gunpowder on the gun, no drop cartridges, most importantly, nobody to shoot. And then you just happened to find that former tenant's corpse. You gotta know that's suspicious. But it's true. I was led there by the notes he wrote. Once I found the body and called the police, I realized they'd gone. And I did shoot someone, but I'm not sure if it was a person. As you testified, but I guess that doesn't matter so much now. I was wary of you because of what you could have done. I didn't want to leave Helena with a madman. If you did anything even a little weird, I was going to turn around and take my wife home. Do you still distrust me? When we first met on the boat, I intentionally told you that I was a detective. Somebody with something to hide would be alarmed. But then you just said, cool. So I was a bit less wary. You might be crazy for all I know, but you haven't shown any sign of being dangerous. Listen, everyone's got bad stuff in their past. For somebody who shouldn't know it to dig it up and use it against you, that agitated and anger most people. He knows that well. He's showing off what he knows to upset all of you and control your actions. He's done it to you, to Richard, to Lance. Lance too? He's an ex-journalist. Took photos of that job too. When he published articles, he signed his photos with L.K. He investigated the state police during a sexual assault and murder case three years back, but went too far. The victim's family and civil liberties group attacked him for invasion of privacy, and he was driven out of journalism. How do you know about all that, Keith? Doesn't matter. Well, I understand that those are the guy's methods, but how does he know all of our pasts in the first place? The boogeyman lives in your closet, right? So, he's always watching. Watching when you nearly killed your mother. Watching when you were snuggling with your wife in bed. D don't make threats like that. He's only human. The appearance, the weapon, the info. It's all just to scare us. You're taking it pretty well, though. It's all cheap tactics. It's not going to scare me. Yep, that's our detective. Nothing scares him, even though his wife might be in danger. Still calm. If I let myself be shaken, you'd all follow suit. I can't protect anyone if I get distracted. A detective doesn't just go fishing for corpses. I've got my lousy pride and my duty. I can't just watch while someone kills people with a grin on their face. Even if you're forsaking someone important to you? What are you trying to say? There's a big gap between your ideal and what you really want. It's contradictory. Isn't that... Hmm. I wanted to be a pilot. But thinking about it now, I think I was just too stubborn to see anything else. So? You'll understand someday. Thinking of taking a nap here? Keith. Those things you said before, were you trying to make me angry? I don't intend on telling anyone your history, nor your family problems. Sorry if you're still pissed. No, it's fine. I guess I am kind of a brat. the book of Genesis. Why?
There can't be anything like limbo. Mom and Dad said that since I haven't been baptized yet, I die. if I die, I go to limbo. But there can't be a limbo. I don't want to go to limbo. I hate this meditation room too. I hate these Bible passages. It's much better, but it's much better than the closet. I really, really hate the closet. That's what I think every time I yell at and go in there. But I just do the same things again and go back in there. When I'm in the dark, cramped closet, I wonder. If I stay in here forever, I wonder if I'll turn into a monster. Like a movie monster who kills his mum and dad and messes up his whole house. But when I leave the closet, I'm just me. I couldn't become a monster. I couldn't. So I always apologise to mum and dad. I'm sorry I was bad. I love you more than anyone in the world. Hey, stop that, would you? Huh? Stop that thing. It's hurting my ears. What does? Your phone! I hate hearing phones ring. It's yours, right? Calm down. Make it stop! Calm down! Where are you hearing a phone ring? There's no phone ringing. In fact, I think I lost my cell phone earlier. So please, calm down. I hate it. I hate the sounds of phones. Why? Because it always brings bad news. Excuse me. Yes, that's right. I'll be there. Mr. Barry, sorry to have called you. Your wife said she couldn't look, but we need you to confirm. It's my son. Are you sure? He's wearing the clothes from this morning. My wife sewed his name on then. Todd Barry. Check behind the neck. You have my deepest condolences. Sign here. We'll send you a pamphlet for a mortician. Refer to it if you wish. Thank you. There's a nurse waiting outside. Tell them if you need any help. Now, please excuse me. Helen. It's me. Hey, Keith, you aren't loitering somewhere. You gotta hurry. The suspect's on the move. Head for Wellington Street. Got it? I'm scared of phones ringing. I feel like someone's going to tell me about a death in the family again. Ever since then, I haven't been able to answer calls. why your son die? Run over by a truck. Driver died instantly. I couldn't blame anyone. I still have idiotic thoughts. Like if I hadn't answered that call, maybe nothing would have even changed. If I'd had been with him, maybe he'd still be alive and smiling. It's completely stupid. It changed nothing. What could I have done? Sorry for grabbing you. I was just confused. Let's go.
Do you know Giovanni knows of the Tower of Babel? So five, seven, eleven, maybe? I hope Keith and David are all right. It's been so long since they went out. Elena? Thank goodness you're safe. Where's Keith? He went looking for you. Oh, but I'm so glad. Now we'll just wait for those two to return and... Wait! I... I have to go. That man's going to come. He'll catch me. Don't go, Helena. Stay here with us. You'll be all right. Y yes, Helena. You should be safe with us. To go out simply isn't... Helena! Lance! What are you thinking? You know how dangerous it is to go it alone? Let go! If I don't run, that man will catch me. So, so then will he not stay with us? you got to calm down, lady. No! Keith? Hey, I don't know what you're saying. Hey, wait! <sighs> Where'd she go? What are you doing out here? You guys. Hey, we saw Helena. She was okay. R really? Yeah, but I lost her. We gotta catch up. She should be nearby. I'm taking you back to the room. What? You go like deaf. I told you, your woman's close by. What's the plan if you're attacked? You can't run with that leg. You. Don't you tell me what I can't do. Lance, stop it. You know, that cocky freak is scary. But in my eyes, you're scarier. I'm grateful that you saved me. But past that, you're shady as all get out. I never know what you're thinking. For all the lengths you go to to save people, you never show any emotion. Never get upset. Not to mention knowing all about my past and trying to scare me with that. Just like that other guy. Tell me, why do you know about me? 
I loved your articles about the Bronx incident. They were pretty on point. I was wondering when I could read more, but more never came, because the author had left journalism. Huh? When I heard your name, I had my suspicions, and it turned out I was right. One leading question, and I'd gotten you. I didn't mean to go fishing through your past. I just read your articles, and you talk just like your articles read. Really has that unpleasant attitude. You should have told me that before. What do you have to scare me for? I just wanted to tease you for picking fights with everyone. Want to take it to court? I'll win. I really don't get you. Can't even tell if you're serious or a huge joker. Man, I can tell one thing. You're not just an unfeeling Robocop. The whole never shaken thing is just an act, huh? I shouldn't be inviting citizens to panic. Stop saying crap about shoulds and shouldn'ts. Listen, I know. Deep down, you think we're just annoyances. Don't really care what happens to us, because ultimately we're total strangers. And you're sketchy as hell for trying to hide that. Why are you gonna hide that? If we're just in your way, say it. Don't go so far protecting us that you'll kill yourself off. If you want to save your woman right now, then do it. Go back to the room, Lance. I'll look for Helena, too. Did you forget what I just said? You're an annoyance. Go away. <laughs> right you are. You go back with Lance. But Keith... I'll be fine. Don't let him get hurt anymore. Go. Wait, I'll take you there. You stick with Keith. What if something happens to you? Shut up! It's fine, you baby face. Baby face? I've been waiting, detective. I'm in a very bad mood right now, because I keep losing to you. Life really doesn't go the way you want it, huh? Even when you try to break up the monotonous days, it just doesn't work out. Sadly enough, even this fun game is almost over. Catch the boogeyman and you win. Happy end. But that's all right. I'll put up a good fight with you, detective. Then we'll see what ending we're getting. Wait, there is not a hint that there's multiple endings. Although I suppose there would. Nice. Blue 
looks like you did things out of order, detective. But still, not bad. Helena? David, where's Keith? We came here together earlier, but then we split up. It must be that way. Let's go look. Don't move him, Helena. Uh, uh, first we need to stop the bleeding. Helena, are you there? I am. It's okay, Keith. I'll stop the bleeding. I can't see blood in my eyes. Helena, you there? No, please, Keith, please, hold on. Please, don't leave me. You're the only one I can't lose. wrong. Huh? You were crying. Have a bad dream? I had an awful dream. What was it like? I don't want to remember it. Helena, you need to wake up soon. I want to sleep a little longer. Wake up, Helena. The bad dreams are always the real ones. Were you asleep, Helena? I was dreaming. What kind of dream? A happy dream. Good. I'm glad you can get some sleep. Do you think you can eat anything? I'm done cleaning the storeroom, so I thought I'd make you something. I'm not hungry. You need to eat, Helena. It's not healthy. I'll make you something simple. Thanks for your help, Shirley, but it's fine. You don't have to do anything. I'm just glad you came. If you can get to sleep, then maybe you should sleep. But isn't it chilly by the window? Come to the bedroom. I want to be here right now. It's my favorite place. I always like to see my son coming home from kindergarten or Keith coming home from work. This must be a great place then. Helena, you remind me of a friend of mine. She got along really well with her husband. So, when her husband left, she was very depressed. She told me that her son's support helped her get her back on her feet. She was a really good person. When I was introduced to her, she told me she was glad to have a daughter-in-law. But I didn't know much about becoming anyone's family. I thought, if my parents threw me away, how could I ever be a part of a stranger's family? And she noticed my worry. 
So she told me this. Well, I had an unhappy marriage. Through it, I met my beloved son. But not everyone can have such happy meetings. So, if you're unsure, I won't mind if you run away. Ultimately, I let anxiety get the best of me and I ran. And by the time I resolved to come back, she was already gone. I still regret my cowardice, but I know it's too late. David seemed to think that you and Keith didn't get along, but I never thought that for a second. You were always so concerned for Keith, and Keith always sounded kind when he spoke to you. I knew you must have really valued each other. I thought I'd like to be like that myself, but it's not so easy. I still don't know how to go about it. I'm sure you just need lots of wonderful memories. It's okay, Shirley. You two will be just fine. Okay, Thanks. so I've killed Keith. That's my takeaway. I've killed him. I wonder if I can go back and save him. Why do the people so close to you always have to go so soon? Helena, sorry, uh, I was cleaning the living room and I, and I broke something. Uh, uh, hold on, what did you break? Uh, a glass cat? You broke a Swarovski ornament! What are you doing? That's why I said I should clean the storeroom. You know I'm clumsy. There's even more stuff in there! That would be a disaster! S say what? You two are just too adorable. There's nothing to worry about, Shirley. You're a wonderful pair. I know you'll get on fine. I don't want any more bad dreams. I'm exhausted. I just want to have happy dreams. Elena! Suicided. Far out. Okay, so Keith should not die because Helena kills herself. Far out. Okay. I'm going to do a thorough search to see if there's anything
Okay, there's got to be a reason why there's a videotape here, a video recorder. And why that's locked. It's like road to nowhere here. So. I'm going to have a quick look at a walkthrough and see. Okay, I'm not going to play through this whole game again just to get one requirement for the good end because I'm just, yeah. <laughs> It's too far back for me to do that. Um, but to get the happy end, you need everyone living. You need to watch the videotape in the from the body in the decapitated, decapitated headroom, which I did. You need to meet Helena in the cell. So you remember when I went downstairs and there was like a room. Um, it was just a cell. And yeah, you couldn't get through it. You meet Helena there. Now, I never met her there. Um, I did go to that room, but I never actually saw her there. You watch the next videotape. That's another requirement, which I did. The one near the hole, near the safe room. I read the Punchinello story. Um, and then there was a recorder that you are here by the boogeyman. And then that's when you get the good end. When you get all five requirements. I think I only got three out of the five. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going back to get the rest of them. Just no point. So I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I'm, yeah, not... Oh, I can't be bothered. Anyway, that's the end. I will link an endings guide to this video. Um, yeah. The next video in the next, I guess, the, or the last game in the Strange Men series is... I can't remember now. So, that. The Hanged Man. 
So when I get a chance, I'll play that. Um, but for now, I think I'll leave it for here. Um, yeah, I'm not going through all the endings. I will link an endings guide. Bye for now.